Hello Sagittarius, but welcome to my channel. Welcome back to uh, my channel. Some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. This is your general, your general love reading for uh, June. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself, and of course, vice versa as well, guys. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, see where it says start reading, click on that, and that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of, you know, they kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. As I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I didn't pick up, you know, on your story, feel free to uh, check out your other weekly readings or your monthly reading. Um, and of course, you can stick around. And sometimes, you know, there could be just messages throughout this that jump out and speak to you. And of course, just use this as a guide One more. to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately, we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just take these in. You might see extra ca clarification cards, guys. Um, take that up. Two cards on top of that. Um, let me take these in and I'll leave. So Sagittarius, let's start your reader. And of course, oops, take whatever side resonates with you guys. Picking up as this being all side. Personally, you're dealing with both. Let me just grab some water. Good gosh. Mm. There you go. Apologies about that. Yeah, personally, you're dealing with it here, but you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. And of course, feel free to check out your other readings for the month, which should be pinned in the corner as we speak. All right. So seems like you've met this person in a certain space. I mean, you can't help where you meet people. You meet people on... You know, you're on a journey and you kind of meet people where you meet people ultimately. But you've definitely met them in a certain space, which has caused them to not show up in the way that they would would be showing up if they wasn't. It seems like this person is coming from something. Um, and you're acknowledging that. There is acknowledgement around regarding um, with the full right there. Which kind of makes you see that, okay, yeah, certain things are not hitting right or certain things are not going right, but I'm still willing to put in the work. I'm still willing to put in the effort with the Seven of Pentacles as much as it's not gone into its full potential yet. I'm still willing to put in the work in order for this partnership to kind of take off or, um, yeah, take off ultimately. Willing to put, to take a risk on this. Again, with the, page of cups there willing to take a risk on this to advance this relationship to advance this relationship and you know it kind of mirrors what kind of this person is 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 thinking as well they're acknowledging that you know there's certain things that they need to overcome when it comes to their thinking there's a lot of passion a lot of desire there that they do have but there are some challenges that they need to come up that they need to overcome when it comes to their thinking. There's a bit of disappointment that they still have. And I feel like it's tied to something that was meaningful for them. Um, something in the past that was meaningful for them that came crashing down. I don't feel like this person has been fully honest with you about what has happened or what went down in that situation. Um, not to say that they're purposely hiding anything, but they're not being fully honest or hasn't, hasn't, haven't been fully honest about that. When I say not to say that doesn't make sense, does it? Let me explain myself. It's not to say that they're deliberately hiding things. It's just that they maybe it's, you've not gotten a chance to have that type of level of conversation with them or they just feel that it's not needed. It's something that they're working through. But definitely something that they had, uh, there was meaningful, meaningful emotions around that that came crashing down. Something that maybe they had for a while or was in for a while with that six six there which brings us to where we are at the moment you know again your focus is very much on moving forward represented by the six you're showing up as six so your focus is on moving forward moving ahead you're not really paying attention 
to so and i say that at the same time i'm thinking maybe this explains why this person maybe hasn't had the opportunity to explain to you fully what's going on or what has happened or what they go what they're going through emotionally because we do have that two of swords it's like you're not wanting to focus too much on or if at all on certain things you're not wanting to, you're just wanting to focus on this opportunity that you have with this person and building something but there is this acknowledgement of things not moving there is a stuckness to to this and that just goes back to where they're, they're at but you're not wanting to acknowledge too much of that in fact you kind of anytime i see this card with this deck it kind of gives me this feeling of i've drunk the kool-aid i've, I've gone i've gone i've, I've mm, how do I say that? I've, okay, I'm just going to say it. I've gone with my emotions. Yeah, I've gone with my emotions. You know, I'm drawn to this person because there's a, a strong pull that you do have towards this person. But again, like I said, you know, they're, they're, you've met that them at a certain point in their life where they're coming away from something and they're still kind of dealing with the aftermath of that, regardless of how long it's been. You know, again, you can't help where you meet someone at, at what point in their journey you meet them, you know? So this is very much something that they're still dealing with. Again, reflection of the Three of Cups. Uh, something that they feel there's been either some injustice around or they feel like there's... Let me pull on that because that could also be dustfish as well. Then finally have it up and go. And as I say that, the sun comes out. Okay, let me take one more because, yeah. Okay, so... There's justice around that for them. So they are starting to feel a bit better about the situation. Uh, we do have the magician card there, which speaks about having all the tools and the resources in order for them to make something happen. So that's a really positive card on top of that sun card. So they are working through it. They're not wanting this person back or they're not wanting to, you know, engage with them in that way. They're just going through the aftermath of letting someone go. That was pretty meaningful to that and not even so much letting someone go but just maybe just working through the emotions of the experience that that experience gave gave that yeah and again it's this confusion there there's there's still a bit of confusion there lack of clarity with the moon card again it's just a reflection of where they're at when it comes to this um yeah your message, the message is keep an open mind. You know, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that goes back to, you know, having the idea or this idea of, you know, everyone needs to be perfect when I meet them or when I meet them, you know, you need to be ready. Not everyone is, is ready. Not everyone you meet at a place where, you know, enough time has passed and they're now ready to embrace a new relationship and you're ready to embrace a new relationship and you're both ready to build. Sometimes you meet people in places or at points where they're, you know, dealing with certain things. Does it mean that the relationship won't continue or can pro progress? It just means that they're still dealing with certain things within that. And maybe you met them at that point in order for you to support them in doing that because you have maybe the experience or certain tools that you might not be aware of that support them in being able to progress. Hence the keep an open mind, your soul may differ from your usual uh, type and expectation. So usually we kind of move into part two of the reading for those who are interested and we just kind of get an idea of where this moves to. I will be implementing that next week, guys, so look out for that. But as it stands, hopefully this has given you some form of clarity. Um, some form of direction for those of you who don't know I do weekly singles and love readings if that's something that interests you as they say subscribe to my youtube channel other than that have a beautiful beautiful day and I shall see you next week